Hello Minecrafters, Arctic Shark Games here coming at you with another Minecraft Bedrock Edition Command Tutorial. Today's tutorial is going to be on making a simple scoreboard randomizer. In today's example, we're going to press a button and a random mob is going to spawn at a certain coordinate and that's pretty much all we're going to do for our example. Um, you could use this style randomizer for pretty much anything you'd like. You just would basically run a different command at the end. So to get started here, we're going to use some command blocks. And we're going to locate these command blocks either in the area that we're playing or you're going to need to locate them inside a ticking area there as these are going to be testing basically for a player with a score to keep it simple there. So first off, let's go ahead and make an objective called mob spawn in our example since we're spawning mobs that's what I decided to call it so in the chat here we're gonna run scoreboard objectives add and this is where you choose the name so we're gonna put mob spawn and then dummy oh, I put too many M's in dummy make sure you spell everything right and then here we have an objective with name mob spawn already exists because I've already made one. It should say it added an objective for you. Uh, another thing is you may want to go ahead and turn off command block output for this as well. So basically the idea here is you're going to have one command either you can put this on repeat with some sort of time delay or you can just press a button to activate it whatever you'd like to do here but this command here is going to actually be the one that randomizes and the way that works here is you go scoreboard players random at p mob spawn and then you choose a range so basically what that means is in this case i'm just choosing the closest person to that command block um, you could change to whatever target selector you'd like, but we're just going to use FP for this example. And then mob spawn is our objective name. And then 1 to 6 is the range at which it's going to randomize your score. So you can see over here that just for my example, I have 6. I got a half a dozen different scores. So when somebody ends up with a score of 1, this chain will run, score two, this chain will run, so on and so forth. So whatever range you choose here, one to six, you basically want to make sure that you choose an outcome, you know, for all those things. And if you wanted nothing to happen, you would leave a number blank. So I could have gone, you know, zero to six or one to seven or whatever, and then left something blank, and then sometimes no mob would spawn. So I hope that makes sense for you. So without further ado, let's jump into this here. This is a repeat unconditional always active command. You could put a small delay on this if you'd like. And this one is basically looking for somebody with a score of one. So it's execute as at anyone scores equals mob spawn equals one run. And then this is where you would change the command to do whatever outcome you'd like. We're just going to summon entities for this example. So it's running forward slash summon. And then this one is going to be a zombie. And then I just did a set of coordinates. Mine's 238, 4, 152. So you could put whatever coordinates you'd like there if you're going to do this exact same thing. And then this is a chain, unconditional, always active. And this is four slash scoreboard player set at anyone scores equals mob spawn equals one, mob spawn zero. So when that command block sets somebody to one, it's going to summon a zombie. And then it's going to set your score back to zero. And then next time you press it, your score will be randomized again. And then basically all these are exactly the same thing. You can see for number two, all I did was change the mob spawn to two. And then I chose to do a creeper instead of a zombie. And then here I put the mob spawn to two. So if you guys are familiar with pick blocking, you can just go ahead and pick block those commands, copy paste those commands, whatever you want to do. And you can just keep going and changing the number as well as the outcome. So then here, you know, you can see I have three here. This is three. And then I did husk and then four. And I did a spider five. And I did a uh, evoker, which is called evocate evocation illager and then six i did pillagers and then you know you can go as high as you want seven eight nine ten hundred two hundred whatever you'd like to do you can choose as many as you'd like if you wanted to double the odds and make it so that like say one mob was more often to spawn than the others then you would just choose multiple numbers and keep putting zombies so if i want to make it so you know most of the time 80% of the time, I always had zombies. I could set 1 through 5, all to zombie, and then I could have 6 be a different 
mob like a spider, and then every once in a while you get a spider, but you would almost always get zombies. So you can pretty much just go ahead and play with the numbers, play with the ratios here, and you can get whatever you'd like going. Um, if you guys are interested in playing with scoreboards and you'd like to chat about it, or you're stuck on some sort of scoreboard, then please feel free to jump into the Shark Commanders. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys another example that you can see sitting in the field here next to me with those colorful shulkers, which is called a Armor Stand Randomizer, which I will throw a link up into the description as well as on screen for you guys if you'd like to see a different style randomizer I recommend if you're going to do a really large randomizer with like hundreds of command uh, hundreds of numbers basically you'd want to use command blocks rather than armor stands so you don't have a ton of entities in any case if you guys found this helpful jump into that shark commanders discord throw a like on the video and subscribe to Arctic Shark Games over here and keep on commanding